Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time where you felt guided to the channel by spirit. So Capricorn, we have here a raccoon who is a little bit embarrassed, a little bit mischievous person. They're embarrassed. They're ashamed by something that's happened in your connection, possibly their behavior, possibly their own actions, possibly their feelings about the situation. We'll find out a little bit more what's up with the Capricorn energy today. <laughs> someone has fierce boundaries um it came through the last message as well so i feel like it's a divine feminine who's finally learned some healthy boundaries and her boundaries are making this masculine self-reflect and they're making him feel ashamed or embarrassed by his behavior so i feel like you've got a divine masculine here who's coming up as the raccoon because it's someone who's a little bit naughty a little bit mischievous and he's feeling guilty or ashamed about his behavior because this divine feminine has blocked him or she has just put up some boundaries and i think this has made this divine masculine with that old gnome's energy curious about her because he doesn't have access to her energy it's the same storyline as the last reading so it might be extension of virgo capricorn but you've got a masculine energy here who's curious because you've got some newfound self-respect some new boundaries he's not used to this new and improved you so what is happening with your connection okay this is a beautiful divine feminine she's coming up with the spirit animal of the butterfly this masculine and you are in love you have feelings for each other and I feel like you're very, very beautiful, divine feminine. So um, with the spirit animal, the butterfly, you're like radiating your beauty, your value. The butterfly is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. So you're someone very good looking. And I think you've put up some boundaries towards the masculine. Because you recognize you're a hot commodity right you don't need to tolerate disrespect you're beautiful there is another masculine out there that will treat you better if this one doesn't want to get his shit in line so let's see oh he was being selfish was he divine feminine he was being selfish masking something Okay, so I feel like the reason you put up some boundaries towards this masculine is because you're very, very beautiful. You're the spirit animal of the butterfly. So you have this beautiful energy, this beautiful aura, this beautiful soul is what I'm hearing. And I think you were dealing with a masculine who was operating in possibly narcissistic energy. I don't think this masculine is a narcissist because he's ashamed of his behavior. And he's recognizing his mistakes. He was just operating in that energy. And this is the used car salesman that tells you everything you want to hear. But doesn't, he over promises and under delivers. And he's quite selfish. So I feel like this is someone who was in selfish taking energy. And they're a bit embarrassed and ashamed from their behavior. Because you've established some healthy boundaries towards this taking energy you're not giving your energy to this person anymore and i feel like you're a bit disappointed and you think it's selfish because i feel like you guys had a heaven on earth connection it was a wish fulfillment 
with the fairy godmother's energy it was a dream come true um to connect with each other on that level and i think the masculines are shamed because you know he he was selfish in this connection however it applies so i'm not getting like you know very much detail on that it was just a masculine energy who's ashamed of his behavior because the boundaries that this butterfly has now established towards a selfish behavior are reflecting back to him you know his mistakes and now he's curious about her because ultimately it was a heaven on earth connection it was wish fulfillment what is the connective energy i think this masculine just thought he, he's a mischievous masculine he just thought he could get away with being selfish getting away with this narcissistic energy clarify the connective energy I don't think anyone's made him accountable before. Yeah, that's another boundary. Creepy energy. So you got a masculine energy who was trying to hit it and quit it, possibly divine feminine. Um, so this connection was like a, an ultimate wish fulfillment. So it was someone that you commit to. It was someone that you marry. And I think this masculine, you know, treated the connection very casually. He tried to come in and creep on this divine feminine. Which I'm getting hit it and quit it type energy. And she's established fierce boundaries, rolled herself into a ball like the black egg and, you know, put up a do not disturb sign towards this kind of creepy behavior because she won't be treated like narcissistic supply. So that is the situation here. Let's find out the strongest thing the raccoon is feeling towards a butterfly in the current moment. Okay, so he feels like you guys had a beautiful friendship. What's the strongest thing the butterfly feels towards the raccoon? So he might have destroyed a beautiful friendship. So I feel like the masculines are shamed because you guys like were best friends. You had this gorgeous, I support you, you support me friendship. There was a lot of laughter, banter and playfulness in your connection. And I feel like his selfish behavior destroyed, you know, the foundation of a, a, a beautiful connection or friendship. The feminine energy, the strongest thing she feels with the guardian of the gate is that she wanted to take the friendship or connection to a more romantic level. And it was, you know, there was so much potential for this because it was a divine connection, it was wish fulfillment. So she feels like the masculine was selfish for maybe not committing to her, for treating the connection really casually. So clarify the friend's energy from the raccoon's perspective. So... I feel like because this masculine didn't commit to the feminine, he kept you like in the friends area. So I feel like he's like, oh, like, you know, I don't want a relationship. Let's just be friends. And you guys had this beautiful friendship and you had so much potential for more, but he never took it to the relation, the relationship to the next level because he was non-committal. He was um, juggling his options. He was wanting to be sexually promiscuous or free clarify this energy so now he's not sure you know how the feminine feels about him with the indie card if she'd take him back or forgive him he wants to apologize because he has a loyal heart she's his wish fulfillment and he has romantic feelings for her he doesn't just want to be her friend so i feel like this divine feminine was like if we're just in the friend zone, then you're not friends with any benefits. You're just going to be a friend, right? Um, clarify the guiding of the gates energy with the butterfly. She's like, you're going to have to take this relationship to the next level. You cannot be in and out of my life and hit it and quit it. There's no friends with benefits here. This is not a casual connection. She's got fierce boundaries. And so because she has put these boundaries up, the masculine's ashamed that he tried to get away with this behavior. So it's it's possibly a masculine who, you know, has never had a feminine put him in his place and say, you cannot hit it and quit it. You have to commit to me or when, when nothing is the vibe here. So what is the strongest thing the raccoon is feeling for the butterfly? <laughs> he's actually heartbroken with the gloomless dreams energy he's very sad he's heartbroken oh he's very sad he's very embarrassed he's very ashamed why is he so heartbroken 
because he wants another chance. He wants a new beginning with her. That's pure. Being drawn to the white on his card. He's really sad and he wants to initiate a new beginning. But she's kind of put up some boundaries. She may have, she may have blocked him. So he's studying in detail how he can get access to her. Because he wants to ask for a second chance because he's heartbroken. What's breaking this divine masculine's heart so much? He didn't have the courage to take the relationship to the next level. So he played it cool and kept things casual. And he has a lot of options. So he felt like, you know, more confident exploring multiple options than putting all his eggs in one basket because he didn't have the confidence. So what's the strongest thing the feminine is feeling for this masculine? We have the... Feline's energy and the spirit dancer. So this is this, a free spirit of divine feminine. She's a rebel. She dances to the beat of her own drum. She feels like the masculine was a little bit of a coward with the feline's energy for not taking the relationship to the next level. So she just kind of wants to do her own thing and be a bit of a free spirit, dance to the beat of her own drum and you know, fly around like the beautiful butterfly that she is. So she's a bit of a, a fairy, this one. She's hard to pin down. So, yeah, she won't... Um, be pinned down by just anyone that has to be the right person or she's out of there so that's the situation let's find out what your guidance is moving forward i'm going to take this over to the extended reading if you're resonating with the message the link is below in the description box to the extended reading you can follow me over to vimeo where you can access the reading individually or you can join my patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate i really appreciate your energy exchange it keeps you on youtube full time so your guidance moving forward is have courage <laughs> go against the grain be brave have courage um yeah i think you know resisting your feelings doesn't require a lot of courage you know resisting your feelings is the normal response you know it's easier to avoid them but the spirit is saying go against the grain do something you haven't done before and be brave like a lion. Embody the spirit man, animal of the lion. Allow your connection to bring out that lion in you. And be brave. Okay, I really hope this helps. Take care. See you next time. Bye, Capricorn.